in the previous lesson we had seen how to place or how to create custom layouts edit the title block and place our drawings on those layouts uh, we had uh, placed this uh, building section on a layout we had also customized an elevation and placed it on a layout and we had done the same to this floor plan now for this for this lesson and us to proceed and now publish these drawings to a, um, uh, a format that we can share with the external parties that is people who are not using a, a key card so mostly we uh, will do pdfs in case of someone who is using a bmx model viewer we can save this to a bmx hyper model so they can be able to access it on a mobile phone using the bmx uh, app so let's go to here yeah, we have this is called the project chooser i'm going to zoom to the project chooser here and i want to have i want to click on show organizer and uh, what this does is it it it, it opens put it at, at, at this point we have a view map here or rather this is not the view map we have the layout book here and we have the publisher sets on this other side so what we are trying to do is um, now prepare this for printing so in this case we have our residential project we have the sheet index we have the architecture of floor plan i can see them update on on the background we have the north elevation as they are updating there and we have the this uh, buildings uh, section so what is here if you try to maybe delete this uh, that is for the layouts you now want to we'll pick this drop it here and if you open you are going to see now the structure of our file system that we had created so we have first we have the sheet index as that we have this sub sub uh, folder that shows the architecture of floor plan we have this with the elevations and we have this other one with the section so my interest is uh, in terms of now publishing as you can see we have very many options that you can choose not so many but you have a dwf uh, file format you have a dxf file format you have a dwg you have a dgn bmp gif jpeg png tiwf you have a windows enhanced meta file and you have windows meta file then you have a pdf uh, let's publish a pdf file and see how that looks like uh, so here under document options you can choose whether you want to have these uh, pdf colored or black and white my in my case i want to have a colored one i'll show you how to do all this so let's have a colored one and this is these are the pdf options you can have it as an have it as an archive you can export those layers archived layers to pdf you have security options in here and resolution options you can go ahead and customize those in this case let's say okay and the properties these are the properties that we have so in case you click that you are going to see the properties change yeah, just like that so when you are done you are going to click on this button publish and we are publishing an entire set and then click publish then you get some warning saying please define an under stroke path for the publication you sh can do that in the publisher set properties dialog box so what we'll do is click on publish asset properties and then it's going to open the dialog here we want to publish by saving files so in this case you have options for printing saving files plotting and uploading bmx hyper model uh, let's say save files and uh, the first option here create a single file is going to create for us just one file with all those drawings and this is the file name so proposed residential uh, apartment one layouts or you can even uh, customize this let's call it i got 25 basics basics layouts this is the path the path is where you want to store these drawings so i'll click on browse 
and it's going to give me options of uh, storing them on the BIM cloud or on the local file system. I'm interested in uh, using the local file system, so click on local file system. That is going to open uh, my desktop, and I will choose to have this stored in uh, some folder here. I say this PC, you have um, local disk files. I have count build Udemy projects, Udemy. Yeah, let's have them stored here. Click on OK, and you'll have the fold path showing there. So information set is going to be just a single selection as that. So here you have options. You can choose if you want the, if you want to have this as a PDF or you want this to, a, a BMX hyper model. In this case let's have a PDF and then click on okay that is set so we can go back again and click on publish and you're going to see the progress of the publications here. So your files are getting saved. Then after, at the end of it all, you'll be notified that your files are being saved. So click on close. Let's go to the storage where we have these files. So this is the one that has been saved. If you click to open it, you are going to notice it is just a single page, a single file. Eh? So it has multiple pages. So this is the sheet uh, index. And the next page is our floor plan. You can see how nice it looks. The other one is, the, is our elevation as we had saved it. And the other one is the section. So that is how these are going to appear. I'll be sharing these files in the downloadable resources section for you to access them. So close that and also close this. Let's get back to our Archicad. And in this case, so we had saved the first one as PDF file. So let's see if we can have some formats, document options. That was a colored one. You can choose to have a black and white. And choose to have um, okay, for all 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 these ones eh? and the plan black and white or grayscale or just any of those so have black and white and the settings here. So let's see if you click on publish, this is going to create another 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 file eh? that is black and white. Maybe you can access that. So this is the black and white that has been created. I'll be sharing that also. Let's see if we went back and we have publishing properties here. In this case, we have a single file. We have a real, let's, let's say we have a single project file and we had uh, customized this to save as a PDF. Let's save this now as a BMX hyper model eh? and see then we can use credits. Here we have um, display your name. Let's say your company name maybe. And your logo preferably click on ok and then let's go ahead and publish so let's publish we're creating now a bmx package so as you can see the progress these ones are going to be saved and when everything is saved i'm going to show you the file and then i'll be also sharing that file in the downloadable resources section so let's go back click on close Let's go back to our local storage and this is the file. So you can see this is the file. So as, as discussed, that is how to publish your drawings to either a PDF or a BMX hyper model. In this case, a PDF, you can open it on any device that is not using Archicad as long as you have a PDF viewer. And then the BMX hyper model, you can open it using the 
you make the model viewer on, on the beam portal or yeah there is even an app that you can install on your uh, on your um, a mobile phone you are able to also open such files so thank you for following along and we've come to the end of this section